It's no secret that the month of April and pretty much the first half of May is pretty slow when it comes to um, big releases this year. But fret not, because when it comes to download titles, there's a lot of good stuff and also some not so good stuff, but yeah. a lot of good stuff. Um, you played all of it. Pretty much. Pretty much. We'll start with Bloodforge. Yes. Which is what? Krom was a warrior. He fought in the bloodiest wars this land will ever see. I guess at some point in its development, I, it tried to be God of War, mm -hmm. uh, and they just gave up. <laughs> no, but it's uh, it's been portrayed as this big thing on Xbox Live because uh, when it comes to production values, especially when it comes to graphics, it's really, really, really pretty, mm -hmm. and it's got this this unique style. But it is, you know, the the same old school sort of beat 'em up, uh, just. Trash Angry action and hero destroying everyone. Extremely rageful, just destroying everyone and everything. My love! Get inside! Quickly! But it's really, really badly made. And that's oh. in part because of just seriously one of the worst cameras I've ever seen in a 3D game. This is way, way, way beyond what uh, what, what I experienced in, in, for instance, Ninja Gaiden, mm -hmm. which was notoriously known for its bad camera. It's just, it's it almost borders on unplayable. What, what, what happens with it? What's wrong? Oh, it just uh, does the random 360 around your character. Suddenly, it's stuck in a wall. Cool. I uh, I tried where the character was stuck in a wall as well. Uh, every time you uh, do these finishing moves, it, it goes into uh, extreme zoom. It just forgets that other enemies are bashing at you at the same time. Uh, it's just full of <laughs> pointless mistakes. And, and it's the sort of mistakes that you rarely see in games these days. My love! No! So, Bloodforge is a game to avoid. Yes! Next is Diabolical Pitch. Diabolical Pitch. Yes. Which is a baseball connect game, something like that. Yes, and also produced by Twist. More or less because it's uh, produced by Grasshopper, mm. which are, of course, really, really known for doing uh, <laughs> highly original games <laughs> and insane games. And this is also quite insane. Uh, your guide in the game is a humanoid cow who transports you <laughs> to uh, this hellish theme park. Sweet. Uh, and you're this, uh, you this uh, baseball player who, at his peak, uh, just lost the power of his arm. Something's wrong. What could it be? Mm -hmm. So uh, he sees this commercial for this hellish place that uh, offers to fulfill all his dreams, which in this case is a bionic arm. Mm -hmm. But he has to repay this, uh, this place by uh, defeating all sorts of weird demons, which <laughs> looks inspired by uh, Donnie Darko. Right. So it's a it's a connect using ball throwing simulator. Yes. Is it fun? No. Oh. <laughs> Fire. Ball. The thing about the, the mechanics are that they really don't work. Mm -hmm. uh, the precision of the game is is uh, sort of first generation connect. Uh, whereas when you see some of the newer, better examples, uh, the the connect controls have actually evolved pretty much. But uh, the controls really don't work here, and, and the game is just too simple. It kind of reminds me of the bad version of uh, the old arcade games, Cabal and Blood Brothers, but it's just way worse. So moving on to something good. Um, Fess. Yes. The perspective twisting platformer that's been under development for ages, it seems, yes. has finally been released. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much as great as it was hyped to be all these years. It, it portrays a world made of pixels and transforms them into 3D. Um, it's, it's sort of a gimmick that was, uh, was seen before in, in games like uh, Crush 3D. Mm. Um, but it's just done in, in, in a slightly twisted way. And the great thing about FES is that even though the, the system in itself seems really complex, you know, having to solve pr uh, puzzles in, in all these dimensions, the puzzles are so well made that, that they actually just, you know, flows into whatever you're learning in the game. At no point in time was I really stuck in the game, right. so yeah. 
The only the only small gripe I have about it is the the map system, which is also in 3D and is really really complex. But <laughs> it sort of works. Moving on, Trials Evolution, one of the surprisingly most anticipated games of this year for a lot of people. Yeah, it's um, it's so great to to see a title like this gain so much uh, popularity. Uh, in part because of the previous game, of course, which just overnight became this really big hit on mm. Xbox Live and just kept on selling. And Trials Evolution is pretty much the most fun you can have for the least amount of money this year <laughs> on any console or PC or anything. It's just chock full of really simple but, but insanely addictive gameplay. Mm. And they've just uh, kept on adding to the formula, which means a new level editor that pretty much lets you create not only levels for the game, but also other game genres. It's got lots and lots of built-in uh, levels. It's got, uh, you know, just twists on the normal gameplay that just shows what can be done with the level editor. And it pretty much has, has everything and, and more uh, of what all Trials fans uh, pretty much loves. Motorcycle platform physics puzzling at its best. Yeah, and, and that <laughs> even makes it sound more complex than it is. Right. It is really just about you know physics, keeping your balance on this bike and, and everything. It's really simple, but it's so insanely addictive. Last but certainly not least, Journey, mm. uh, the latest game from that game company. It's so hard to describe Journey because <laughs> it, and uh, now I, I, I probably will sound like a hippie or something, but it is really about a journey. Mm. Um, you take this character, there's really no. Uh, That's all, it already sounds really pretentious. Yeah, but it's it's a really great experience more than a game um, mm. because there really is no backstory and there really is no mission. You just collect these seals, these flying seals, and the world around you evolves and what you put into the story, because nothing is really described, is also what you get out of mm. it. And, and it is just, I mean, I can't describe it and make it sound cool. It just is. If, if we're going to put like a usual genre tag on it. Probably platforming, but mm -hmm. really, really simple platforming and, and kind of core platforming, though you're not able to actually play with yeah, the you, players you, that you, you choose. You only meet strangers. Yes, much. and, and uh, you will probably never, never know who you're playing with, mm -hmm. but that actually forces this weird kind of cooperation that, that you just don't see in other games and, and also makes the emotional attachment to the game far higher. So summing up, three excellent downloadable titles and two not quite so excellent downloadable just, titles. Just ignore the bad titles and yeah. focus on the good titles because this really is uh, has been a couple of months where the downloadable titles have certainly uh, just you know showed that they're not just the small games you need to play in between the great big releases. They are really great games on the, uh, in themselves and, and definitely worth your money.